With summer coming very close, we thought we'd give you an awesome watercolor design inspired by Melissa De La Cruz, our Young Nails mentor. Steph's gonna show you that right now. All right, so it's getting close to summer. We were looking through some inspiration pictures and we decided we wanted to do something bright and fun. So our inspiration today comes from our senior mentor, Melissa De La Cruz, MJ De La Cruz on Instagram. She did a beautiful watercolor using some caption colors. So we're gonna recreate that look. All right, for today's look, I'm gonna be sculpting my nail out of cover pink. We have a glitter press that's done over black manicured gel polish and with our newest glitter resolution. And for the watercolor, we are gonna be using caption, hello you fine thing, later skater, get happy fast, and shut the front door. All right, so first, as always, we're gonna start by pushing back those cuticles, grab my electric file with my medium grit sanding band, and tuck right up around into that cuticle area and down the body of the nail. Got a little leftover acrylic on there, that's okay. All right, grab my hand file real quick and just kind of shorten up that free edge. And grab my clean manicure brush with some swipe brush down so I'm pulling out all the dust and debris and getting the nail nice and dehydrated and ready for application. I'm gonna grab my protein bond and apply that from cuticle to free edge. Go through, apply to all 10 fingers and come back and apply my second coat. When you first apply protein bond, you can see it's really shiny, looks almost kind of like a top coat. And then as it sets, it actually starts to kind of just, it turns more tacky. If you go in with your product out right away when it's still really shiny and wet, that can actually cause lifting. So you wanna make sure that you give it time to set up. I'm gonna take my Young Nails form, pop the little tab off the back, stick that on the underside for a little added support. I'm gonna go ahead and pre-pinch this a little bit. I like to break the seal back here pre-pinch that and then just go ahead and rock that right up under my free edge. Now I kind of have like a tapered square, somewhat coffin look going. So we're going to keep that going with this set. I believe Melissa's was also a coffin look. Make sure that forms nice and straight, nice and flush. I'm going to grab my cover pink acrylic. I'm gonna pick up a pearl and set this down right at the free edge. That way you can start to kind of get my shape. Wipe my brush, use the body of my brush to push that around, make sure we're connected. Same thing over here on the other side. And then just go ahead and stretch that out to the desired length. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and grab a second pearl. Give that a second to set and set that down just shy of the cuticle area and release. Wipe your brush. Go ahead and walk that right up around the perimeter of your cuticle. Same thing over here on the other side, kind of just juggling that product back and forth angling my finger down so it just flows nicely for me. And then I'm able to use the front of my brush to just kind of start blending that in. Most of the product is still right there at the stress point, right where I need it. And just kind of blending all that in. All right, I'm gonna give that a chance to set up Go ahead and file that into shape and we'll get back to you guys with the design. 
All right, so we are filed, shaped, and ready for our protein bond. We use protein bond over top of enhancements to prevent any kind of chipping or peeling of the gel polish. I am gonna be using caption polish for most of the design, but I'm gonna be using a caption conversion top coat over the top of it, so I'm gonna use the protein bond anyway. For my first design, we're gonna be working on the watercolor look. So I have all of my caption colors right here, ready to go. Also, I have my on to the next polish remover. What we're gonna do is just kind of swatch out the colors in any random order, and then take the polish remover and use the polish remover to kind of blur the colors together, giving it that watercolor look. Okay, so personally, I usually start with the lighter colors, um, just kind of a preference for me, not really any rhyme or reason to that. So Get Happy Fast is my yellow. I'm just kind of swooshing it around. Again, this isn't something you need to be overthinking. There's no right or wrong. I would suggest not over flooding the nail because then you're just gonna end up with way too much color. And then when they're blending, it might start looking yucky. So I would say just work a little drier than you would usually. And we're just kind of placing these colors in any random order, just dabbing them on, swishing them on. If you get any kind of color on your brush, just wipe it off on your table towel. And finally, I've got my later skater. Just kind of dabbing that around, giving a little bit of color here and there. Okay, looks like a three-year-old did my nails. That's fun. All good, we are gonna grab a gel brush with a little bit of our on to the next on the brush. This is an old gel brush. Don't worry guys, it's not one I'm ruining. I'm just gonna start dabbing. Mostly where these colors meet is where I'm focusing so we can kind of blur those lines and blend the colors in together. You'll notice I kind of dab, touch my hand or my nail when I'm picking up um, some of the acetone. I just don't wanna flood the whole nail so I'm just dabbing a little bit of it off on my skin or on my nail. Okay, just kind of touching all these colors, letting it do its thing. It's really cool when the colors start to kind of fade and blend together. This design's fun because there's not really anything that you can do that's right or wrong to it. So if you take away too much color, you're just gonna add more polish. I'm gonna lighten up this yellow over here a little bit. I like when it's more kind of a translucent color. I think I wanna add just a little bit more pink up here. Maybe a little yellow while we're at it. Have fun with it. All right, I'm gonna hit this blue side over here a little bit, get some translucent kind of going. Really get that watercolor feel, right? Okay, I'm pretty happy with what we have here. While that's setting up, we're gonna get started on the other design. Okay, so for this glitter press, we're gonna use our Manicure Black 101. I wanted to show this uh, done on the screen. I know you guys all know what a glitter press is and how to do it, but this is just one of my favorite combinations and not something I would have thought to add to such a bright, fun set, but it goes amazing. So we're just gonna coat the whole nail with this black. Since I'm gonna be doing a glitter press, I'm not super concerned with the full coverage it's okay if it's a little sheer. I would like it to be pretty even, but as, if there's some, if it's slightly sheer, it's okay. Just gonna worry about one coat on this. I'm gonna go ahead and grab that free edge just cause you'll be able to see it. Okay, I'm gonna get this in the light for 30 seconds. All right, once I've came out of the light, I'm gonna go ahead and grab that resolution glitter in my dry makeup brush. And I'm just gonna dab that right onto the dispersion layer and knock off all of that excess. 
I love the color that this turns the black gel polish. I'm just obsessed with it. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this with a manicure top coat. I'm gonna get this in the light for 30 seconds. Grab my manicure cleanse. Get rid of that tacky dispersion layer. Okay, so for my watercolor design, I'm gonna grab my caption conversion top coat. Since the design is out of caption polish, just to be on the safe side, I know conversion pairs perfectly with it, so I'm gonna use my conversion top coat. I wanna be sure I get all the sides nice and flush at the cuticle area and I'm going to go ahead and cap my free edge. Okay, I'm gonna get this in the light for 60 seconds. I'll go ahead and finish out this set and we'll get back to you guys with the final look. Hey guys, what's going on? We hope you love our videos. Let us know in the comments below what you wanna see next. To see more, head over here. To subscribe to our channel, head over here.